Ladies and gentlemen. Nation stand up and welcome back to the second channel and welcome to the king of the hill where the big bad Ford F-150 will get ready to defend his crown and become a three time reigning defending undisputed Hot Wheels king of the hill. This is scale quarter mile drag racing. 18 feet of Hot Wheels track and we have 108 cars participating today. So I hope you have your snacks and I hope you have your drinks. It's gonna be a little bit of a lengthy flight today. We are ready to kick off this King of the Hill. I cannot thank you guys enough for coming back and participating in today's event. You guys had your chance to decide your rides. Let's see who's it gonna be. Guys and gals, if you're new here, do yourself a favor right now. Subscribe, ring the bell, become part of the Hawkeye Holler Nation today. Not only here on Hawkeye Holler 2, but also over on the main channel where we race BBTs, big beautiful trucks, monster trucks. And tell you what, we got another King of the Hill for recreational coming up very soon. Looking at setting a record and becoming a six-time King of the Hill. Holy smokes. Also have a third channel for Funko Pops. Again, the pop holler links down below. If you're into this kind of content, make sure to like this video. It helps me out so very much with the YouTube algorithm. All right, that's enough of that. Let's race. But before we get to the festivities of today, though racing for today, we're gonna be working with a little bit of a different kind of camera setup. I'm gonna have this main camera up here in my hand and I will be manually triggering, triggering, triggering the start gate because I noticed when I use the string for Hot Wheels racing, some of these cars tend to get stuck and I don't want that to happen today. I want some fair racing. We're gonna have the finish line cam. I was hoping to have a grandstand cam, but uh, I didn't really like the way the footage was coming out on that. So no grandstand cam, but the secondary camera will be right here and this will be your POV just like so. So hopefully uh, hopefully you guys get some entertaining con uh, content from that. Uh, we will have a full speed run and then after that we will have a slow-mo replay. We're not gonna be up and close and personal with the cars just because I'm a one-man show. I don't have help with the start gate and all that fun stuff. So hopefully this turns out the way I want. We'll find out. Uh, yeah, let's race. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab our first six cars out. We got the Fiat 500 Modificado, all right. We're gonna have the Baja truck. Look at that one, that one's sick. Uh, let's just do a little bit of digging around in here. All right, 66 Chevy Nova. Good choice right there. All right, all right, all right. All right. Oh. Ah! oh no! We got the Audi Avant Wagon. There we go, we need two more, two more. Please, Lord, let me get two more. Oh, Moto Blade, there we go. Put him right there, and one more. Who's it gonna be? All right, the Jeep Scrambler. Nice, we got our first six cars for our first oh, race. Oh yeah, our first contestants are ready to rumble. Let's kick it, oh. ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The king of the hill is underway. Let's race. The Baja truck did not go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. It is that heavy Audi Avant moving on to the next round. So I think we'll go ahead and just place the winners right here. We'll start lining them up in their groups of six. And then the losers will just line up against the wall over there. But man, the Baja truck, he is a little too thick for the track. Just unable to get those wheels moving. 
All right, six more cars are coming out. We got a custom 66 GTO wagon. Look at that one, that one's pretty cool. Then we got split decision, two chances to win with split decision, don't forget. Then we got, oh yeah, the Ford F-115 Lightning Custom. Okay. Then we got D-Muscle. Look at that one, that one's so cool. Then we got the 15 Challenger SRT Hellcat. Oh yeah, and now we need one more. It's gonna be the Audi e-tron. Six more. Let's crack it. All right, a good looking group of cars. Let's go, race number two. That ain't no lie, baby. Bye, 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 bye. Oh, man. All right, this one kind of comes as a surprise. D Muscle in lane number four, getting the dub. Yeah, I honestly, did not see that victory coming. Let's get to race number three. We're going with the Volvo XC40. Good choice right there. Then we got the Range Rover Classic. Okay, we're getting some heavy duties up in this one. Then we got the custom Volkswagen square back. Okay, good one. Let's dig down a little bit further. The Fiat 500, all right. And then we got the 87 Audi. This one's gonna be a good choice to win. And then lastly, oh, West Coast Flyer. Let's go, baby. Let's go, I'm excited for this guy. Race number three is looking beautiful, you guys. It's going to be a great race between the Audi and West Coast Flyer, but will we have a surprise winner? We've seen some pretty good racing in the first two events, but let's drop those gates and go for round number three. No way is the Range Rover. Dang, West Coast Flyer, I had higher hopes for this one in the quarter mile, but no way. It's the Range Rover pulling it out. Nice, did not see that one coming. Surprise victory in my opinion. All right, let's get to race number four, the Ram 1500, how about that? Then we got the Escort, nice. All right, let's just dig down a little bit. Let's mix it up, let's mix it up. Oh no. Oh, Boombox, rocking the Aladdin livery. Okay, I saw this one, the Acura NSX. Oh yeah, that one's gonna be a fast model. And then we got the Bagani Zonda R. Okay, okay, okay. And lastly, okay, the Mazda Autozom. Race number four is lined up and it is definitely a mixed bag of vehicles. Curious to know how this little guy's gonna do. I am hoping Boombox does not get stuck in the gate. I'm gonna try and make this as fair as possible. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. Honestly, another surprise victory. Lane one is the Dodge Ram 1500. What? We got two trucks already advancing. That's interesting. Did not expect these higher vehicles to do this well. All right, race number five. Let's get it going. Okay, we're gonna do the NASCAR. See how well he does. All right, let's grab the next one. 
70 Chevelle SS. Nice and heavy. I'm curious to know how well he's gonna do. Let's do the Pontiac Aztec. Excited about that one. Let's dig around a little bit. All right, we got the Batman and Robin Batmobile. All right. We have the Hot Wheels Ultimate T-Rex Transporter. Good one. And then lastly, let's grab Big Air Bel Air. Nice. A lot of heavy hitters in this fifth race. I'm curious to know if this NASCAR is just going to wax the field or if it's truly going to be a Hot Wheels that gets if it I'm done. I'm being honest, I am truly pulling for that 70 Chevelle. But let's drop those gates and find out. We're racing. Oh no, the Aztec. So lane five is actually the Hot Wheels T-Rex Transporter, but the Aztec didn't go on my fault. So we're gonna run the Aztec and the T-Rex uh, destroyer thing, and we're gonna race this them. This is my way of keeping things fair in case somebody did pick the Pontiac Aztec. So we're gonna race these two Does again. Does that mean the T-Rex is getting extra track time? Sure, but he may not win. Let's go. Well, he won. All right, the T-Rex transporter will move on another bigger vehicle. He may be hard to beat. He may be a threat for our current King of the Hill, the big bad Ford F-150. We'll put the Aztec right here. At least he got his run. All right, let's finish up the first group for the next round. We got Bully Goat, love that green. And then we have the Zinger 21C, nice. All right, then we got the Batmobile, nice. Noise, noise. And then we have Glory Chaser, okay. And then we have the Proton Saga. One more, we need, please Lord, let me get one more. The 70s van, another heavy hitter. The winner from this race will complete the first group in the next round. Who's it gonna How be? How awesome would it be if the Proton Saga gets this victory? Let's find out, here we go. And lane number two belongs to the Zinger 21C. And just like that, we have our first group lined up and ready to go for the next round. They are one step closer at taking on the King. That means we need to start forming our second group, so let's continue on. 64 Chevy Nova Wagon. Then we got the Alpha Romeo GTV6 3.0. Next up, the Cadillac Project Hypercar. Looking forward to that one, that one's gonna be good. Then we got the Bluebird Wagon from Dotson. All right, and then, oh, come on, get out of here. We have Low Lux, okay. One more, one more. It's gonna be the 18 Camaro SS. Let's go, baby, let's go. Group number seven looking very dang healthy. I got, I'm sorry guys, I'm biased, I'm pulling for the Camaro. Will the 18 Camaro let me down? I'm sure they will, but we're dropping those gates, we're racing.
I told you the Camaro would let me now, but I'm down. But let me tell you what, guys, these wagons are nice and heavy. The Audi was able to advance, and now it is the Blue Bird wagon moving on. The only one that hasn't made it so far is the GTO right there. Oh man. Let's get our eighth group lined up and ready to run. Come on out of here, don't be shy. Volvo 850 Estate, another wagon. Look for them to take it all. Then we got Trouble Decker. Interesting to see how that one's gonna run. Then we have the Braille Twin Mill. Nice, love that. Then we have Drifsta. Gonna be a good one, looking for a victory. Limited Grip. And then one more. Let's dig down a little bit. Oh yeah, Rocket Box, baby. Group eight is looking really good, you guys. This Volvo 850 Estate, he's just like the other wagons. Will he win? Treble Decker, I'm interested in seeing how he's gonna do it. And we know how fast Rocket Box is. You know, you guys, I haven't had this much fun racing diecast in quite a long time. I'm having such a fun time with this episode. And I hope you guys are as well. Let's race, baby. Drista did not go. We're gonna have to rerun them. Alright, the Volvo 850 Estate did get the victory, but I goofed again. Sometimes it's hard to keep that trigger on the left and the right side. Sometimes it will catch the cars in lanes three or four. So we will run Drifsta again against the Volvo 850 Estate. Gotta keep things fair, you guys. Alright, let's will go. Will it be another wagon moving on or will Drifsta take them down? Let's go. It's the Volvo. The Volvo 850 Estate will join his brethren in the next round. Nice. Group number nine is coming up next. We got Drift and Brake. All right. Then we got the Porsche 911 Carrera. Looking forward to that one running. Speed Dozer. Oh yeah, we know he's good. All right. The Shelby Cobra Daytona. And then we got the Nissan Patrol Custom. And who will Mr. Irrelevant be? It's gonna be the Vanster. Sounds like a nickname for a guy who has not aged out of high school. All lined up and ready to go in this mixed bag for this ninth race. Let's go. Looking forward to this guy. I am truly hoping Speed Dozer does not get stuck to try and pull this as smoothly as possible. Let's go. And I tell you what, Thick Boy Nissan did not go. And I tell you what, the rest of the group left the Shelby at the finish line. He was so slow to get out of there, but the Vanster did not expect the Vanster to take the victory in this one. Well, let's get group number 10 up and ready to go. It could be the Lotus Avija. Nice, I like that car. Second chance for split decision. Okay. Oh, yes, McLaren P1, so fast on the scale, quarter mile. 
Then we got the Mini Koopa. Mini Koopa. And then we got the 180 SX Type X. And lastly, the Impreza W R X. I just realized every car in this group is running a spoiler. I mean, technically split decision kind of has like a little lip spoiler, so we're counting Which it. one of these winged behemoths will get the victory? Let's go, baby. It will be the Subaru WRX. Man, he's actually got some good weight behind him. I tell you what, this second group is stacking up so dang nicely. Next group is up and ready to go. It's going to be the Lamborghini Mira. I love that car. So dang cool. All right, Chevy Nova Wagon, our last wagon of the group. Will he advance? Then we got the, the Monster High Ghoul Mobile. Coming up next, it is the Dodge D100. Okay. Then we got the MST Suzuka. Yes, love that one. And Chevy Camaro 2013. Okay, I, I think the wagon's gonna get done, but these mirrors seem to be really quick as well. Don't forget, we've seen a lot of trucks advance. All right, let's go ahead and get another winner up on the board. Let's go. The wagon. Let's go. The wagon. These wagons are truly nothing to scoff at. Another one has advanced. That's one, two, three, and four. The only one that did not make it was the GTO. As I said prior, they're gonna be hard to beat. If I was this king right here, I'd be a little worried about them. One more race to complete our second group. Let's go ahead and grab the 92 BMW out along with the, another Mazda Autozom. All right, come here. Then we got the Baja Bison. Okay, let's dig around a little bit. B -b 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 Bone Shaker, nice, love that car. And then we have Lancer Evo, okay, and one more. Let's go with Subaru WRX STI. I gotta say, I love the matte finishes on those two cars. All right, here we go. All right, lane three belongs to the big old bison. Nice to see them get a victory. They're, it's their very first race here at the hauler. All right, group number two for the next round is ready to go. All right, we have another six races and then that will be it for the first round. Let's go ahead and continue on. We got the Mazda Maxima drift car. We have mailed it. Yeah, yeah. Then we have the Chevy Tahoe. Oh yeah, heavy hitter right there. TV series Batmobile. 
and the little shorty. Then we have a sand burner. He may be a little thick, we'll see if he fits. And lastly, let's go with the Jaguar Mark I. They're all lined up and they are ready to go. Looking for this Tahoe to take it. All right, who's gonna take it and start the third group? Let's go. I told you it would be the Tahoe, but the Batmobile did get stuck up at the gate. It is a little wider in the back, so we're gonna run them we again. We gotta keep these races fair, so we will give the Batmobile another shot. Regardless, I think the Tahoe is going to get it done. He's just so dank fast. Let's go. Yeah, he gone. Yep, the Chevy Tahoe will start the third group. All right, next race, let's get it going. We got the Jeep J10, love that casting. Then we have a Donut Drifter, and then we have, oh, Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. That's just such a crisp word to say, Sesto. Sesto Elemento, yeah. All right, oh no. We got the Rasian Express. And then we have the Ford Performance Super Van. And lastly, we will have the Jag F-Type. I believe the Sesto is the fastest car here, but we could see a surprise winner yet again. All right, and these cars are gonna be all lightning quick. Here we go. Looks like the little Jeep had trouble, oh no, but I told you guys, the Sesto Elemento gets it done. Let's get our next group going. Look at this, guys, we're about done with the basket. Lightning bug, all right. And then we have Mad Manga with the Hot Wheels livery, okay. Another Alfa Romeo, second chance to win with that one. Oh yeah, I see my, I see my boy. Lethal Diesel, yes. And then let's dig around a little bit. Oh yeah, Jeep FC. And one more. Roadster Bite. It's gonna be one heck of a drag race between Lethal Diesel and Roadster Bite. Let's see who gets it done. This will be winner number 15. Let's go. Color me wrong. Track manga getting this victory? What? Little wheels, low splitter? That car was lightning quick. 
And oh man, we gotta feel bad for this Jeep. He tried so hard, just a little too thick. Three races left in this first round. We got the 49 Merc. Second chance for West Coast Flyer. We got the Hummer EV. The Nissan Silvia Liberty Walk. The Power Panel. And lastly, let's do GT Scorcher. Just a heads up, I did have to do a little bit of rearranging here up at the Stargate because some of these cars would get stuck and I'm trying to avoid that happening. All right, West Coast Flyer, do not let me down. Let's go. He let me down. Dang, dang, the Liberty Walk walks the dog. They're moving on. West Coast Flyer again loses. And then the Hummer, well, gave it a good old college try. Two races to go in this first round. We got rapid pulls. Stay there. There we go. Then we have Sky Dome. Bogzilla. Okay. The Subaru Brat. The Tesla Roadster. And Dune Crusher. All right, Bogzilla is a little thick. We'll see how well he does. All right, who will be the second to last victor? Let's go. Bogzilla did better than I thought they would, but rapid repulse, rapid response, sorry. Moving on and welcome to the hauler. One final qualifying race. Let's get it going. The Batman Forever Batmobile. Bubble Matic. Give me here. We got later Crater. Then we have Group C Fantasy. Another Mini Cooper, and lastly, the Chevy Chevette. This is the final qualifying race. That means this is the Mr. Irrelevant race. Who will be our final qualifier? One final showdown before we move into the next round. Let's go. And lane number three belongs to Later Crater. All right, we have our 18 finalists ready to go. We are ready to go for the second round. Again, single elimination. We will have three winners. Then it will be the first car to win two. Who will get one step closer to the king round? Will it be the Audi Avant, D Muscle, the Land Rover Classic, the Ram 1500, the T-Rex Transporter, or the Zinger. I need to have a clean pull of the Stargate or else the Ram will get stuck. Let's go. He got stuck.
The Audi Avant did get the victory, but we will have to run him and the Ram once again. I just knew that Ram would get stuck, so here we go again. I still think the Audi has this in the bag, but let's drop those gates. Yeah, he got one. The Audi is the first one to move on to the next round. The Ram, well, we gave him another shot. Couldn't keep up. Race number two of the second round brings us to the Datsun Bluebird Wagon, the Volvo Wagon, Vanster, the Subaru Impreza, the Nova Wagon, and the Bison. Who will join the Audi in the next round? Let's go. A great clean race and it will be the Bluebird Wagon joining the Audi in the next round. The third and final race of the second round brings us to the Chevy Tahoe, the Sesto Elemento, Track Manga, the Sylvia Liberty Walk, Rapid Pulse, and later Crater. Hoping the Liberty Walk does not get stuck, hoping for a clean pull, let's go. And it will not be the Chevy Tahoe. It will be later Crater becoming the third and final car. The third round before the King round is here. This is the contender round. The Audi wagon, the Dotson Bluebird, and later Crater. You need to win two races to meet the King. Just so nobody gets an advantage, we will space these cars out by a single lane just like that and we will rotate lanes after each race is going to strike first let's go The first winner is the Datsun Bluebird Wagon. Let's switch lanes and do it again. All right, we are bumped over a lane. Here we go. The Datsun needs one more victory. Can they get it right here? Let's go. No siree, they cannot later crater strikes. All right, it is a tie game between the Datsun and later crater. Can the Audi get their first victory? Man, oh man, these dogs are hungry. Here we go once again, who's it gonna be?
And that's all she wrote, folks. Later, Crater getting the victory too in a back-to-back -back fashion. Later, Crater has secured himself into the king round. And speaking of the king, there he is flaunting that million dollar double HD check that he's won twice from the million dollar race wars tournament all right now this is the king round this is a best of three first car to win two the king of course gets lane preference he chooses lane one and as we continue to race we will switch sides but we will move them closer together the king round is here big bad ford f-150 later crater who's it gonna be Peter Crater just took it to the king. They got their first victory. Lanes are switched and we are closer to one another now. Can later Crater go back to back and become the very first king for their first time? You we know haven't seen the big bad 150 struggle this much in quite a while. They have been a dominant car. Let's see what happens here. Could it be all said and done? Let's go. Who's it gonna be? It's over, we have a new king. Let's go, who's it gonna be? It's over, we have a new king. Holy smokes, the big bad Ford F-150 just went down to later crater. What the heck? I did not know that this car was going to get it done. Wow. I, I'm honestly flabbergasted. It is now time for the passing of the crown. It is time for a double HD funeral. Time for the king to lose that crown. Later, Crater, go get what you truly deserve. The crown is yours. Go and get it. The big bad Ford F-150 has been defeated. We have a brand new Hot Wheels King of the Hill in later crater. Go ahead and give him the crown right there. How about them apples? Now, did anybody pick later crater? Yes, we sure did. Chase Family Racing, congratulations on becoming the next Hawkeye Hauler, King of the Hill in later crater. Congratulate them in the comments down below. But guys and gals, boys and girls, germs and squirms, that is going to be it for this installation of the Hawkeye Hauler, King of the Hill. 108 cars entered the hauler, and holy smokes, one of them was able to take down the big bad Ford F-150. But hey, don't forget the big bad Ford F-150 is still a two-time Race Wars million dollar winner. How about them apples? But man, oh man, got another King of the Hill coming up for the Monster Trucks on the main channel. Find that link down below and just scored a huge Funko haul on the Pop Hauler. All those links are down below. But guys and gals, that's going to be it. If you could do me the kindness of doing all the good stuff, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Definitely make sure you're part of the Hawkeye Holler Nation Day, not only here on the second channel, but across all my other channels as well. 
Now, videos on this channel will be every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central, U.S. Standard Time, so tune into that. Videos on the main channel every Sunday and Wednesday at 10 a.m. Central Time, and over on the Pop Holler every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Central Time. That's gonna be it. If you care to help support the channel, become a Patreon member today. $5 a month helps support the channel so very much. Or kick it here on YouTube, $2.99 a month helps support the channel so very much. I have a huge project coming up. You guys know I have a ton of Hot Wheels. I am thinking about boxing them up in USPS flat rate boxes and having them be for sale. Look for that video very soon where I will explain all of that just because I need to really windle down this collection. Uh, there will also be monster truck boxes for my Spin Master Monster Jam trucks. Gonna hold on to the Hot Wheels, but I think we're gonna start whittling down the Spin Master collection. But that's gonna be it, you guys. I cannot thank you enough for coming back to this episode. You guys truly are amazing. I love your guys' support and it truly means the world to me. I had so much fun with this video and I hope you guys did as well. Another King of the Hill is coming shortly, stocking up on cars as we speak. They're right up there, right below the lights, stocking up on them. So look for that one in the near future. Love yourself, love one another. It's okay to not be okay sometimes, you guys. Be kind to each other. And with that being said, I'll see you back here at the hauler for another video. Peace, love, and diecast racing. I am out of here. A new king has risen. Oh, also, check out this video. YouTube thinks you'll like it.